my name is Hergé Rome, and I will show you one function which is in the Arrange menu, and it's the functions which are in the Align and Space section here. The Align and Space functions allow you, as the name implies, to uh, align the entities and also to change the way the links and the labels are displayed. When nothing is selected, you see that those six functions are disabled. So what I will do is I will select those um, entities and you see that I can align them horizontally, vertically, I can align them to grid and I can, I can space entities horizontally and vertically. First, what I want to show you is if I want to move this icon, for example, this entity, you see that it moves by steps. The reason why it moves by step is that I defined the chart so that the entities must snap to the grid. To undo this, I can right click on a white part of the chart, I go on Edit Chart Properties, and under Display, I've got Snap to Grid, which is checked. If I uncheck it and click OK, you see that now the move of the entity is much smoother because it doesn't make steps like, like before where it snapped to grid. So this is a personal choice. You can either leave it like this or you can have a very precise positioning of the entities or you can go back to Edit Chart Properties and Snap to Grid. Okay, and then go back to snapping to grid. So now, for example, what I would like to do is to group those six entities three by three, and I would like to make them more or less like this. But I would like them to be aligned very precisely along a vertical line. So what I'll do is that I'll take those three and I click on Align Vertically, and that's it, that's done. So, just the ones who were selected are now aligned vertically. But still I want to do something more. I want to space the entities evenly. Because you see, this one and this one, they are, they are closer than this one and this one. So, still those three entities being selected. I will click on Space Entities, Space Vertically, And that's it. So now each of those three entities are aligned along the vertical line, plus they are evenly spaced on the vertical uh, space. Now I want to do the same for those three, but those, this, this time I want to align them horizontally. So I'm doing something more or less precise. And I select those three and I will align horizontally. Plus, I will space horizontally, and that's it. And then after, if I want to move them, I just select those three, and that's it. Now, about these two functions. Those two functions arrange links, labels, and compress connections. It's about links, so I, put, I already have uh, chart with lots of links. Uh, the problem you might have is if as long as those two entities are aligned more or less in a horizontal line, the text can be uh, displayed correctly. But now if I take this one and I try to move it like this, you see that it's not possible to read the levels of the, uh, the uh, links anymore. So to arrange this problem, I will select the links and I will click on Arrange Link Labels. And you will see what's happening. So labels are moved along the link so that no text is overlapping each other. And now let's say I want to remove this link and this link and this link. So it's not very nice because you have a white space here, two spaces here, and I cannot fix it. 
unless I select everything and I click on compress connections. Compress connection, as the tooltip says, will resolve evenly spaced link between a pair of entities. So if I click here, that's it. All the uh, the links which were removed are now gone and the links are spaced evenly. 